In any kind of Pro Tools project, chances are you've done this at least once or twice. And what that is, is you'll be editing something on the timeline, you'll hit F1 or you'll click shuffle to go into shuffle mode, there it goes. And then maybe just tighten things up a little here and a bit here. And then you realize, oh man, I've thrown things out of sequence up here. Chances are you've done this at least once or twice. Okay, I've stuffed it up. Now what am I gonna do? There are two things you can do. You can either just never be in shuffle mode, which you can actually do, by the way, from going back to slip mode and then either hitting Control F1, which would be Command F1 on the uh, Mac, and it uh, locks shuffle mode. You see the little lock thing up there. Otherwise you can Control click or Command click shuffle to do the same thing. And then that effectively locks off shuffle. See if I lock it, and then I'm clicking shuffle, I'm hitting F1, nothing's happening. It won't allow me into shuffle, which is all perfectly fine if you don't find shuffle handy. But if you do find shuffle handy, and I do, and you just don't want to make a mess of things further down the timeline, you can do what I do. And uh, you can do what Donald Trump does and build a wall. Terrible, terrible. Terrible. Uh, what I'll show you effectively makes a protective barrier on the timeline that prevents anything on the timeline after it from being shuffled around accidentally. So what we'll do, I'll start with highlighting an area on all the tracks, all the tracks at least that would concern you in your project. And then on a PC, you hit Control Alt G. On a Mac, it is Command Option G. And it makes a little group there. And then you hit either Control L on PC or Command L on a Mac and there's the little lock key there, and that is locked. I can't move that without a dialog box coming up, right? And cancel. And so anything you do here won't affect anything here. So, and nothing after the wall, nothing after the wall will be messed about. See if I go back here and maybe just tighten things up a little here and a bit here and nothing after the wall will be messed about. I hope you found that tip handy. If you've got any other tips or tricks with the uh, shuffle command, let me know in the YouTube comments. And if you like the video and you can excuse my dodgy Donald Trump impression, then let me know on the YouTube channel as well with your thumbs. I appreciate it. You can also subscribe to the channel or you can see more videos like this and uh, other ones on Vimeo as well, all on my website, andymar.com. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching.